Shm Appreciation Month. Welcome back to the Shm Appreciation Month. Shm Appreciation Month. There isn't any welcome back. This is the first stream that we're doing tonight. And I'm using a brand new uh, setup that I am totally... I'm, I'm all fiddle-faddled here. I, uh, I feel like a complete schmuck. Um, this is actually kind of disappointing. Because I don't see where on earth chat is going to show up on here. That's disappointing. Hmm. Weird. Um. And switch between these two cool um, different views, though. So look in this top corner here. Awesome. Shm Appreciation Month logo and banner made by the uh, very talented John from uh, Mojo Menace. To you, my friend, this is water. This is... Starlight Coke with a little bit of mixed uh, spirits inside of there. So that's pretty cool. Mmm, so good. So delicious. Anyway, so we are going to go ahead and play some shoot 'em ups tonight. What is Shim Appreciation Month? It's an entire month dedicated to all the awesome shoot 'em ups. That we can throw into one month. Um, we've got 31 days to celebrate, so that means 31 days of shoot 'em ups. We're gonna be rocking and rolling with them all month long. It should be a blast. I'm pretty excited. Hey, Mike, what's up, man? I'm a little disappointed though. I can't seem to figure out a way to get the chat to show up here. This is super weird, huh? Oh well, this is brand new. Um, this is actually the first time I've used. <laughs> yeah, you're working hard. This is the first time I've used, um, this is super weird. I don't understand. I don't want to add a scene. Um, was there? I don't think that's right. That's not it. I don't want to. Doesn't look like it. Cancel. Oh. I don't know. Um. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just tinkering with stuff. I've never used OBS here on this new Windows computer yet. I've used Streamlabs a bunch of times, but Streamlabs has always kind of messed up things. So I'm actually just going to stick with using OBS now. I thought I had it all set up, to, ready to go. I was, I was actually a minute or two late starting this stream tonight because I forgot to hook it up to my Twitch. It's freaking brilliant. But we'll be doing uh, shoot 'em up games all month long. I am surprised here. That I'm not able to add the chat in. This is super weird. Excuse-moi. Excuse-moi. Game capture, display capture. I don't think it's display capture, is it? No, I don't think so. Chat. I want to add the display. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Look at that. Goofiness. That's definitely not the chat. Oh well. So I guess this first session. What is the first one we're doing? Well, it, we're in for a treat, my friend, because we're gonna do <clears throat> some shoot 'em ups on the one of my favorite handhelds, the PSP. What's up, Pickle Friction? How you doing? And we're gonna use RetroArch to do that. And uh, I know everyone's thinking, oh my god, RetroArch, especially Pickle. I know Pickle's favorite thing in the world is RetroArch, but uh, it's not mine. I actually don't mind it super much, um, but we're gonna go ahead and, hey man, how's it going? Um, we're gonna go ahead and use RetroArch to run some PSP stuff. So re what is RetroArch? It's a RetroArch if you want to call it that. RetroArch is a pretty slick uh, emulator uh, for PCs, so you can basically play all sorts of retro games, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all the way through N64, PlayStation, whatever. Um, and I'm going to use it today to play some PSP stuff. And uh, it's it's very powerful. Um, sometimes you need a little bit of back-end uh, BIOS and stuff like that to actually play some of the old retro stuff, especially, especially proprietary CD images and stuff like that. But... Um, it's all on there, and it's pretty slick. So if you guys can let me know how the sound balances out, too. Oh, I, I sure will, do. I sure will, dude. I mean, otherwise, if you just Google RetroArch, it's pretty right out there for Windows, Linux, um, et cetera, et cetera. It's pretty slick. So this is a Starlight Coke. 
that uh, Pickle Friction has pointed out to me from one of his streams last week. Had to get some over the weekend, and I'm drinking one now with a little bit of coffee whiskey mixed in. It's disgusting. No, I'm kidding. It's actually delicious. But, um, so what is Shm Appreciation Month? It's a whole month worth of shoot 'em ups. We're going to be playing them a bunch every day for the entire month. So if you're following my stream, you may have noticed that last week, you boogie. <laughs> uh, if you followed us last week, I went through Soul Blazer. So we finished Soul Blazer, which is awesome. I'm super happy to have gotten through that. Um, it's funny because last time, so January, I finished Dragon Slayer. An excellent, excellent um, turn-based RPG. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing that game. Um, and we, uh, after that game was, uh, I was done with that, I'm like, I'm going to take a break, I think, for a while from these, uh, you know, these uh, deeper, like deeper, long... <laughs> longer role-playing games and, and I, I got about a week and a half before I was like starting to itch and start to crave to play another longer involving RPG or something so uh, then we jumped into Soul Blazer in February so it's like once a month I get into a big RPG and get through it which is pretty freaking cool that's more RPGs in the last six months that I've played through than the last six years combined pretty much so pretty happy about that and then um, but this month we're not going to be playing anything that deep um, but I promise you in April we'll be jumping back into some more streams that are um, longer games. But right now we're just going to play through, uh, well, I don't know if we're going to play through anything, first off. Shooter, shooter games are hard. Very, very hard games. But what we are going to do is we're going to play a bunch of shoot 'em ups So, yeah, Pickle Friction. I'm going to go through Dragon Slayer again. Maybe I'll just play that again. How about, how would you like that, pal? How'd you like that, pal? I'm kidding. Um, so first off, I wanted to start with a really cool... Um, so Shm appreciation is shoot 'em ups. I wanted to play a game that's not necessarily a shoot 'em up, but it's kind of the grandfather, the granddaddy of them all, Space Invaders. And the version of Space Invaders that I really dig is Space Invaders Extreme on the PSP. Dragon Slayer. Let me know how the audio is here. I want to make sure that it's all kind of balanced out. Um, Corporation. Turn that down too, so it doesn't. Space Invaders 30th Anniversary. Space Invaders Extreme. Hopefully that's fairly well balanced. Um, if you guys can hear me and the game music, that would make my life a lot easier. Sorry, I'm moving that over. <laughs> I don't think Jesus, Jesus works well over here. But all right, let's rock and roll here. Now we're going to do arcade mode. Stage I, I one. Kinda off to the side so ready guys who's seen this game and who hasn't yet this game is actually more rhythm based than anything if you've ever played um this regular old school Wii had a couple really good um rhythm based shoot 'em up style games and this guy kind of reminds me of that oh you son of a bitch so here we are, we're playing Space Invaders. I hear my controller. Click, 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 clicking. Jaiza! Oh my god, I can't believe I just took a death. So dumb. Oh my god, I almost died again. I don't even pay attention. Oh, I think this game's still great. I like this one a lot. This is the PSP version, a lot of fun. Jesus. Hmm. It, like, um, plays a lot of tricks in your mind, honestly, playing through it. This is a PSP. Well, a PSP is a portable PlayStation console that came out Briefly between the uh, PlayStation 2 and 3, um, I actually didn't care so much for the PSP initially. And then I got one, and I was like, holy shit, is it good. I got one off Craigslist. Dude had it in a, in a barn, of course, central Wisconsin, right? Um, he had it in a barn, and it actually, no shit, smelled kind of like a barn. And he was like, yeah, I live on a farm, and we were playing. I would play PSP in between, like, chores and chorn. 
There is chore to be done. And you play it as PSP out there, and then you put it on Craigslist for like 30 bucks. I had never owned one before, and I was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it on PSP. And I freaking loved it. Uh, one of my buddies that I worked with was big into hacking stuff, and so he uh, he hacked it for me. And, oh, it was so cool. So cool to have a bunch of old school emulators and stuff on it. Um, interestingly enough, I don't think that PSP works anymore. I tried to load it up um, just the other day when we were talking about handhelds and stuff, and uh, I could not get I could not get the PSP to work. So I was really, 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 really bummed about that. Shit. See, Pickle Friction was playing Galaga 90 today on the Turbo Graphics, which was brilliant. Uh, John from uh, Mojo Menace was playing. Oh shit! He was playing Blazing Lasers, which is a spectacular game. Oh great. And uh, he was good at it. So you guys saw some really good shoot 'em up action earlier today, and now you get, sadly, you get to sit and watch me play games. I'm playing games at the old stomping grounds over by my computer, where I've been pretty much handcuffed to all day long. I had like a crazy long work day today, but a productive one, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then I just got done with lecture. Literally just got done 25 minutes ago. Actually did not get to hear much of John's stream from 8 till 9. Because I was in class. And I had to do two presentations during it. And by presentations, I mean just sharing my screen and stuff. Oh, you filthy bastard. Break. You filthy bastard. How does this uh, look as far as... Um... Oh, fuck. Clumsy buffoon. Oh, shit. This is not... How is this looking? Is there any, like, missed drop frames or anything? Stay From what I can see, it's, like, less than a percentage of drop frames so far, and my CPU is only up to 20%, so fucking A, OBS is doing really well. It's, like, really rocking my thumb. Hoo boy. Hoo boy. And Turismo on PSP was good? Stage oh, that's kind of cool. Thanks, dude. The game is very distracting. Like, it's got so much going on in the background. It's kind of crazy that it runs this well on a PSP. It looks great. Good, good man, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, shit. You filthy bastard. Come back here. All right, there we go. Good, good deal. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. I never really got into a Gran Turismo game. I only played the first one on the PlayStation 1, and I thought it was alright. It was kind of boring. But I'm more of a... Daytona! Daytona! Let's go away! We're like some kind of Sony fanboy. Oh shit. Sure. Need to go to bed soon, but I logged on just to see one of my favorite people ever. Alec. Oh, that's great. God damn it. Yeah, Alec's a good guy. I sent him his 3D glasses this week. Hopefully he gets them pretty soon. Shit. Uh-oh. Now my computer's taking off into space again. They're still good. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go again. Do, 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 do. Come on, you big bastards. Nice. Where the fuck are your 3D glasses? Did you ever see me your address? I only sent them to people that were... Well, first off, people that responded to my Twitter post. And then second, anybody that sent me their address. Bruh, bruh. Oh, and this is, by the way, by the way, guys, if you haven't noticed, this is actually a new microphone, too. <clears throat> yeah, Jay, you're coming this weekend, though. I had planned on giving them to you in person. Remember that conversation? I know you don't listen to half of what I say. You deleted your Twitter. Did you 
delete Twitter. Twitter is like literally the most stress-free social media out there. And like what you see, just unfollow somebody. Nobody gets hurt feelings. Oh shit. Facebook, everybody's all butthurt about everything. How come we're not friends on Facebook anymore? Because you're a fucking insane person. Sits and argues with people and is toxic as all fuck. God damn it. Come on, big money. What's up, J-Bear? What is up, the J-Bear? Never really used Twitter, that's why. Oh, well, I get that, I get that. I prefer Twitter over Facebook. It's become my more, more or less my go-to with social media. There we go, big money. Here we go, I'm a vulgar. What's up, guys? What's everybody's week been like so far? I actually have no kids to wake up early in the morning. It is a late start Wednesday. <laughs> Rabbits. So, um, chirping is fun. It took me a while to learn how to chirp, but it's fun now. I don't even understand. Oh, chirping. <laughs> um, so I actually won't be setting an alarm. I'm just gonna wake up whenever I wake up. My first meeting tomorrow is at 10, and I've got a 99% of all my work tasks done. I have uh, one quick meeting, but my week has been fucking amazing, dude. As far as work goes, um, really good stuff, been very productive. Uh, big game convention this weekend. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but Evercon is going live Friday morning. So Wednesday, my entire Wednesday and uh, Thursdays are completely set up for Evercon. Right after work tomorrow, I'm gonna run to the convention center to set up hopefully between 60 and 75 game consoles. So it'll be fun. It'd be a blast. Oh shit. What's up? Pickle Friction. How are you, buddy? What is the haps, my bro? Big bastard. Shiza. Jesus Christ. Oh, great. That's awesome. God damn it, dude. Turn the shit down a little? What shit? The game. The gameplay music? Turn that shit down a little bit. Just a little, okay. Hold on. A little, huh? Just a little, it's a little too loud. Well, I really turned it down quite a bit. But I, I will turn it down some more just for you, my friend. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Good. Okay, see what we got here. Just a little bit, just a hair. Just a touch. Is that... Just the touch! You got the touch! The power! Is it good? I'm gonna have a sippity doo dah of my. You notice that the chat isn't up here? Isn't that disappointing? <laughs> Pickle friction, I couldn't figure out. And this is the thing, I, I needed to jump on, obviously, to stream. But I couldn't figure out what the hell. Oh, you want it up a bit now? Are you being fucking kidding me? Are you being fucking kidding me? Bastard lip. Right, fine. Watch. Put it in the middle. Um, remember when I when I unpause this, then there's going to be all the shooting sound effects, which is louder than the music itself. Oh, so, are you being fucking? Are you being fucking kidding? I got some of that sweet sipping sauce too. Eating it for the long haul tonight. Ooh ah, it's good. It's good sipping. All right, here we go. Pensacola wings of thunder. Let's do this. You're probably wearing like really, really expensive headphones though. And then you can hear everything. You can hear the inner contours of my lips going. Hush, 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 hush. Is, that, is that good? Do you like that? Hush, 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 hush. The microphone is really picking up a lot of background noise. Who's noise? Who's farting? That'd be me. I've been bathing in raw sewage. And I love it. I love it. It's probably picking up some of the clicking. The controller is really loud. What's wrong now, Pickle Fraction? Oh shit. Oh! <clears throat> Oops. 
So I was thinking about give me the madness. What does give me the madness mean? It means that I cut a promo on you, Pickle Friction. That's what cut, that's what give me the madness means. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, where is a Slim Jim? You know what's funny is I turned on my old phone. Now I just got to turn it back off. Oh, sorry. That's, that's distracting. Pickle friction, yeah. Pickle friction. You know what that sounds like? It sounds like pickle nonfiction. Yeah, because he's a pussy. The man's a pussy. He is not man enough for Miss Elizabeth. That's right. Yeah, pickle friction. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you want to know who the man is? The man is the macho man, Randy Savage. Yeah, I keep thinking, thinking, thinking. I keep thinking. Yeah, that's right. Pickle Friction, you big piece of shit. You ain't nothing. Be a man, Pickle. Be a man. You know why you can't be a man? Because you're just a pickle. Pickle Friction, when I see you in the ring tonight, it's going to be me on top of you. That's right, yeah, well, that's right, yeah, that's right, Miss Elizabeth. He ain't man enough to beat me. He knows he only has a 33 and a third percent chance. That's right. That's right, yeah, that's right. Pickle Friction, you're not a man. I'm going to pin in you. One, two, three. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. There you go. There's your redemption, my friend. That's uh, that's the redemption for uh, Give Me the Madness. If you want me to cut a promo on you as Macho Man Randy Savage, by all means, feel free. I've been to it, yeah. Dude, if I do that like four or five more times, <laughs> should I make it like 10,000? If, if I have to do that a bunch of times, I'm going to lose my voice. It'll be great. I can't wait. All right, so back to the game. Oh, we're going to go back to the game. I think I just died, too. Oh, just put a limit on it? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, that's probably smart. I, didn't, I don't ever think to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> Good. I think it's funny, too, because your girlfriend's name is Liz, so I got to work that in. I've been thinking about that one for a while. You're not man enough for Miss Elizabeth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And <laughs> John, what the hell did I just, <laughs> what did I just step into? Well, you didn't snap into anything, John. Oh fuck! Look, these guys are coming down on me. Oh shit, pickles! God damn it! Yes. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, you bugs. You little alien bitches, yeah, that's right. I, I, I gotta stop doing it now, otherwise I'm gonna lose my voice. All right, here, oh, come on, come on, big money. Chains, give me a chain, give me a chain, you fucker. Mm. Nice. So what's everybody, what is everybody's weekends looking like? Is it too early to talk about weekends? I mean, I'm, I'm in weekend mode because I got Tomorrow's my last day, and I'm not even waking up early for work or nothing. I put in two 10, 10 hour plus days these last two days. It's been a busy effing work, work week, my friends. Come on. Ugh, son of a bitch. Fucking God. Date night and spending. Uh, depending on how that goes, my future may change. Whoa. Uh oh. Are you popping the big question, Mike? Popping the big question? What is the big question? Will you play Nintendo with me? That's the big question. Yeah, Jay, I'm pretty sure I've heard there's a big blizzard coming this weekend. You better be careful. Better stay in your homes. The big blizzard of, uh... Oh, shit, it's all slippery. I hate this. The big blizzard of 2022 is this weekend. They're expecting up to an inch of snow. And maybe some ice. In in March. Jeez, it's gonna be terrible. This is like the weirdest area. Area? Fuck. Come on, there we go. I guess just stream our overtime is possibly finally becoming alternating shifts. Ooh, that's cool, dude. Holy shit, pickles, nice. Die, you fucking bastard. Okay, good. There we go. Nice. This has been the best. 
Best run of my life. That's cool, dude. I always liked your streams. Um, but I am actually... So with Evercon being this weekend, I am actually planning on doing quite a bit of streaming. Um, but we're going to be streaming live from the Video Game Museum. So with that... Oh, shit. Maybe I should bring a green screen. Oh, you fucking dork. God damn it. Mm. Because I could do some green streams, green stream, green screen stuff. You pencil dick. What's the CIA get you pushing too many buttons? Oh fuck, really? God damn it, dude. Ugh. Rapid shot. Rapid shot. Spray shot. Broad shot. That's what it is. There we go. That is pretty cool, dude. Your streams are super entertaining. Um, I know we have a kind of a schedule set up for the uh, Shm Appreciation Month. So there should be, um, between Pickle and uh, Mojo Menace and myself and Dale, it's going to be streaming like every day this month. So I think that'll be pretty damn cool. And we also have some high score challenges going on. Oh shit, I've dropped a few frames now. Some high score challenges going on. I wonder if that's just when I go full screen. I don't seem to have any problems when I'm like this. Oh, shit. Um, on the Mojo Menace forum, so you can... Oh, man. You can... <laughs> the CIA's got you pushing too many pencils. The CIA got you pushing too many pencils. Just crown me the Galaga champion. I know, dude. You did a great. You're, like, already number eight in the uh, PC Engine FX 20-year-old... Uh, forum topic. Nice. The over 500,000 points? That's so crazy. I've never seen as far as you've gotten today. Like, I've never seen that. So, I'm honestly not a good Galaga player, but I, I, would, I would hope to someday achieve to become a good Galaga player, because Galaga 90 is one of the coolest games. I'm just terrible at it. Terrible. I mean terrible. Los terribles. Yeah, right? Wait, your second try ever? Or just second try of the day? There we go. Nice. Fever bonus. Good. Definitely had the fever going on there for a second. This is super cool. This is uh, Space Invaders like you've never seen before. Damn it. Sugar. I'm planning to get... Uh, you just played it for the second time ever? What the hell? How are you that good? Is this because you grew up playing Galaxian on the Atari? Is that how you're that good? Because Galaxian on the Atari is fucking sweet. Oh god. I can't remember which console it was that I first played it on. It might have been the 2600, but I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't remember. We had a generic version of Galaxian on the... Tandy Coco. I just don't remember exactly what it was called. I'm gonna split up. Then we got get it. Yes, good job. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Mm, come on. Fuck. Yeah, I get that. Or original Galaga and original Space Invaders is very hard. Um, I actually think original Space Invaders is fucking, fucking hard. I used, I actually, well, I used to have uh, a Space Invaders cab from 1978. Uh, maybe it was 79. Or roulette. What's a roulette? Uh-oh. No bonus. Haha. <laughs> you suck. Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever you prick. I got a shield. That's kind of cool. Hey, what's up, Alec? Jay was looking for you. He's uh, interested in proposing to you, I think. Because you're his new best friend. Just get ready. Just get ready. What it's like to be his new best friend. Because he's going to marry you. And you're going to be having all sorts of really cute little children together. It's going to be adorable. Hope you've got what he wants. 
because it's very high expectations, my friend. Very fucking high. Yeah, I'll have to put a limit on the Macho Man thing. I think that is fun to do, though. I, I like talking like Macho Man. You want to lock hairs, Pickle Fraction? <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, uh, like uh, Avatar style. <laughs> Spectacular. How you doing, Alec? You feeling any better? I know you said you were starting to feel better, but it's good to see you, buddy. Uh, your 3D glasses should be on the way, by the way. Hopefully you get them before Saturday, because we're going to do our first 3D stream on Saturday. Saturday. A stream in 3D? What? Tell me more. I know. First, I need to tell you something about it. We're going to play some Virtual Boy in 3D on Saturday. Live from the convention center. Oh shit. Down to clown. You long haired kids. Yet. I am, but I'm still tired. Well, that was my shield, huh? That's cool. Good. It's good that you're feeling a little bit better, though. I was, I was worried. There's a lot of sickness going on. Change the game. Oh, you son of a bitch, really? Jesus, you had 20,000 saved up? You want me to change the game? It's not gonna be your choice though, mister, because I, I, uh, I'm picking the games. Unless you really want to, unless you don't feel that's fair. You tell me, Pickle, what am I, what am I playing next? Just changing to a different PSP game? Well, let's, you tell me, I, I'll, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. I'll be fair. I said I'd be fair. What am I playing? You tell me. You tell me. My plan was to stick to PSP stuff tonight, so. And it's got to be shoot 'em ups because it's what Marvel Land? What the fuck's Marvel Land? Is that a Master System thing? It's PSP and shoot 'em ups, bro, bro, bro. Dude, you love Sony stuff. You love Sony products. I thought you'd love the PSP. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, shoot 20. I got you, you little bitches. Come back here. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, big money. Come on. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Come on, big glamus. Glamus McSnamus. Come on. Yes. It says you will stop and switch to play a game of my choice. Alright, fine. Fine, no, that's fine. You spent the twenty thousand. What do you want? What do you want me to switch it to? You, you tell me. And once you tell me what game, then I'll, I'll switch it. I'll switch the goddamn game. Pickles. Can you try to make it shooter related and not Marvel Land? I mean, I guess if you want it to be Marvel Land, that's fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's finger looking fine. You're just ruining my life. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I added it. I know, I fully realize I'll, I'll, I'll change the game, I'll change the game, I'll do it, I'll change the game, I'll change the game, just tell me what you want me to play, Fantasy Zone, okay, I wish I had a Fantasy Zone collection on here, that's Sega, right, oh wait, maybe, it, maybe I do have it on the PSP, hold on, oh, you have Marvel Land, oh god, what is that on, sounds miserable, Sounds, sounds crappy. Sounds like CIA's got you pushing too many pencils. CIA's got you pushing too many pencils. Jay does that incredibly well. Genesis? Okay. Uh, wait, wait, you mean... Um... Yeah, 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 I think so. I think so. Okay, okay. Alright. We'll take a break. We'll stop. We'll stop this. Check it out, yo. I'm gonna switch it to my ugly mug, and then we're gonna find this... Goddamn game. Dude's got you pushing too many pencils. Alright, let's see what we got here. Do 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 do. I would recommend the arcade or FZ for Master System. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Twin B. There is a Twin B collection on the PSP. Uh, I actually was really looking at into it, but I do have that Sega collection. So let's see what we got here. 
what's on it. Let's hop on over. Hop on over. A create Sega Mega Drive collection settings. Oh, sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sega. Sega. We are digital eclipse. What is this? You know, I'm no good at, uh, I am no good at, uh, Fantasy Zone. I'm really no good at Fantasy Zone. You'll see. You're gonna be disappointed in me so hardcore. Laser beam is good, huh? Sega Genesis collection, here we go. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, do I have to unlock it though? Wouldn't that be lame? All right, let's go. Oh, it's not on here. Right, well, unless it's somewhere else. Look at that. I don't think it's on here. That's sad. You can play Sword of Vermilion. <laughs> Quick work of basses. How about Super Thunderblade? Hey, so I've heard you play this game. You played you played this and you call it Wrist Star. That's super weird. I always called it Rai Star. I don't think it's wrong. I mean I think you're right and I'm wrong. It's just funny how I always pronounce things the wrong way. Rai Star. Wrist Star. Flicky? What's Flicky? Is that a shoot him up? Restar. What? I don't think there's any shoot em ups on this list. This is dumb. Why would they put Virtua Fighter 2 on here? That's like the dumbest port. I, I shouldn't say it's dumb. It's actually not bad. I don't think there's any shoot em ups on this list. Yeah. What is Flicky? What is Flicky? Oh, wait a second. I know what Flicky is. That's a thing where there's all the little birds falling around or whatever. It's a Master System game, isn't it? So what the hell? Why isn't uh, Fantasy Zones unlocked on here? Damn it. All right, Pickles. I'm going to do this just for you because you're such a nice guy. I'm going to do this just for you, Flick. Or I'm going to call you Flicky now. Pickle, Pickle Flicky. This to me. Why do you got to do this to me? I'm dead serious. Why? Why? Why are you that guy? Why are you this one? Why are you like this? All right, here we go. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Go back. All right. Do 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 do. You're right though. Um, <laughs> fickle flicky, <laughs> fickle friction, fickle fickle flicky flicky friction. Uh, yeah. This uh, all right. Fantasy zone, right? Is that what we're talking about? Wait, 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 wait. What? I don't even have it in here. What the fuck is going on? This is really weird. What kind of collection is this shit? Hold on, hold on. I, I got you covered. I got you covered. I got you covered, right, right, right. Yeah, right, right. I got an idea. I got a fucking idea. This will be brilliant, and everyone will be happy. I doubt it, but maybe. I know, that's where I'm going. I'm going to the turbo version, because, you know. See if this even works. 
<clears throat> this is really quiet. Can you guys hear it? Dude. God, okay. Jesus. Really not this bad. I could not get control of the controller. This retro arch. Okay, sounds good to you. Okay, good. Retro arch and its uh, control controller mappings is the worst. Really not that great at this game uh, at all. You'll be very disappointed in me, like I said. Sure, you're worse. I, I doubt it. I doubt it, Mr. Alec. Oh, what am I doing? Shiza! That was close. Yeah, the uh, Retro Arch, I could not get it to work with a Super Nintendo USB controller that I picked up um, with the PSP. So I had to use an Xbox controller. And it would not let me even use the Xbox controller until I switched it to four button or two button mode. Hit the shop. Where is the shop? Ooh, whoops. What does that mean? What does what does it mean to hit the shop? Kidding. Um, do I am I all out of money now? Am I done? Yeah, that's great. Sorry. That's super sucky. Because I know I need the the red balloon. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I have a cute em up that I enjoyed more than this. Actually, I'm not, I'm not big on on Fantasy Zone. It was a space Fantasy Zone that they were working on. That TTI and Hudson were working on together. You ever hear that one? It's weird. I have that one. So is it? Dude, I'm not. This is brutal. Those brutalities. You're finding out how bad I am at this shit. Oops. Oh, I didn't realize I could even do that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. What is the name of this emulator again? It's Retro Arch. Put it on your hand, bro. I'll message it to you too. Just, just remind me. Jesus, you have to hit the all neun and und nuts, neunzig luft balloons, neunzig, neunzig. Be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. Here we go. This pickle friction. Is it doing it again? Or am I just not able to move yet? No. Oh. oh, maybe that's what I was freaking out about. I thought I was... I thought the controller wasn't responding. That's fucking hilarious. I've got a hundred, or a thousand gold. Ooh, I'm rich. Oh, cool, right on.
<clears throat> Damn it. Jesus. Red balloons, huh? That's where the shops are? I don't see any, though. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of bad guys coming up now. What do you do? You go through and you kill all these uh, bad guys and then... It's the shop. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Right on. Oh, my lanta. Dude, this is rough. Hey, is that a shop? Oh, good timing. Well, what do I take? Laser beam? Wide beam? Yeah, just like that, huh? Which do I take? This is music. This music's very sexual. It's like relaxing elevator music. Oh, um, okay. Laser is good for bases, and you can hold the button. Ooh. Well, I'll go with the laser. It's a turbo engine. I don't think it really matters. What's big wing? Do I move a little faster? I'll try. I'm sure why not. Let's get an extra life. Oh, which one's the extra life? Is that the turbo engine? Okay, cool. Well, that was fun. All right. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, what do I do? What the fuck? Well, I'll take the laser beam. No, Opa, Opa. Okay. So. Oh, exit. <laughs> Whew, it's been a long. All right, here we go. Wow, holy crap. Oh, that's all the timer I have for it, too, huh? This is lame. So I better go kill some of these bomb things. God oh, damn it, I'm going the wrong way. I think is like what having a, a migraine looks like. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's almost gone. Well, that was fun. It was good while well it lasted, right? There it is, you piece of shit. Yeah, I know Opa Opa. You know how I know it's Opa Opa? Well, because I, I'm not an idiot, first off. But second, I know it's Opa Opa because of the Sega All-Stars Racing game. That came out a million years ago. Actually, not that long ago. So now what do I do? Oh, oh, oh my. Holy Christ, oh God. This is exciting. Oh my, Lanta. What am I gonna do? Now it's like almost like a real shooter. So it's all straightforward, this is awesome. Doing the right thing. Oh my. So you can unlock the Opa Opa in. Whoa, money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Oh man. What a judging by your performance, I think it would be. <laughs> wow. Thanks, dude. Damn. Laser beam again. I think that was pretty good. Jet engine. I don't know what that does. Performance. I just don't play lame Sega shit, dude. What's a Sega game on the PC Engine? Because Sega was like, God, can we just make a? Can we make one of our games on a good console? And NEC was like, Yeah, you can make games on the PC Engine. And they're like, Oh, thank God, because we all we have is a Master System and the Genesis. And they're like, I know. <laughs> I know, that's gotta fucking suck. Mm. It is a little too it is a little too hard for me. It's true. Alright, here we go. Holy shit am I way too fast. This is like a really bad defender clone. Jesus Christ. Barney's Adventure? I, I, I definitely play Barney. That's a fun game. You can't die in it. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm Barney!
Made Defender good. I don't know about that. I actually like Defender 2 on the NES a lot. That's actually a fun game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my Lanta. This is definitely the farthest I've ever been in Fantasy Zone. Hmm. Wow, that was pretty crazy. Oh, really? Well, that was cool. I try it again. Do, I, do you want me to play more? My old phone is still awake. Put it back to sleep. Power off. Power off. Do, 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 do. Uh, I did see, oh, the boss of that stage? Is that what you were saying? I can, I can do that. Dude, my hand is actually hurt. He did see a boss. Yeah, I did. All right, well, I can do it. I can do a little bit better. I'm, I'll, I'll try better. I'll try better. I'll try best. I'll try my best. That's all I can do is try my best. If that doesn't work, then it just isn't good enough for you. I understand. I don't want to shop yet. I'm sorry. I don't know. The shop is just distracting. I just can get through and beat all these stupid bad guys, and then I just go on to the next thing. Pickle, what would you rate this theme song? What would you rate it at? Just out of curiosity. Because it's very, like, it's obviously very memorable, and it's obviously, it's, it's memorable, and it's something you will, like, hum a lot, and there's a bazillion remakes out there of it, but like, for real, it's very repetitive, it's very short. You rate it objectively without letting any nostalgia. This version's like a six, oh, okay. okay. But there are better ones? I always thought they were pretty arguably the same, no matter which console version you played. I think the Genesis version has more parallax, though, maybe some parallax, I don't remember. <clears throat> I think the NES version didn't a lot of people really say it was a poor version? I honestly don't remember, though. I have a very strange shoot 'em up that ties into a game that was released last, last week, actually. For next. Oh, God. Okay, that's cool. Fuck off, dude. How the hell? God damn it. You don't have nostalgia for this. You didn't play it until you were in your 20s, but you're in your 30s now, right? So that's... You can get nostalgia pretty quickly, can't you? Or is it something that you only... That only ties into your childhood. I have nostalgia for things that happened in my 20s, although I'm, in, I'm a lot older than you, Pickle. A lot older than you. Boss time, right? Cool. It does in a pinch. Okay. What's up, Strider Man? Oh, shit. Wait a second. Strider's in here? How are you doing, man? Long time no chat, bro. Long time no chat, bro. Yeah, I know, right? You're still like a 16-year-old strapping young lad. Is that what you were pushing awkwardly in your stream today? <laughs> yeah. I'm a young lad. I'm just a... I, I'm, a, I'm a wee young lad. Don't you know? There we go. I have nostalgia for things I played a dozen years ago and in my 30s. Aw, oh, shit. Alec, you're not even 30. Knock it off. What are you, like 26? Young cherub is what you are. You're, you're a cherub. You're just a little wee one. Alec, don't even act like you're in your 30s. My god, my friend. When we did that video together all those years ago, you were like seven. 
I remember it well like it was just yesterday. There was little Alec and he was sitting on a can with his pants down around his ankles. It was not awkward at all. And he said, just a minute, I'm playing my Game Boy. I'm playing Kirby's Adventure, that's what he said! Fuck. <laughs> Ten objectively. Ah, fuck. Gotta see this boss. Gotta see this boss. That's what I gotta do. Oh shit. I'm a dumbass. I was thinking that was already blown up. Come on, you bastard. I think, um, you rating video games is one of the highlights of my day, dude. I think, or the video game music, I mean. It's super fun. Ah! Ah! There we go. Oh, Libbins, Dibbins, there we go. Clam shell case. That's why Sega Genesis games are so valuable. Because they came in a clam shell case. They're more cooler than Super Nintendo. They had a good thing going, and guess what? With the Saturn and the Sega CD, they fucked it up. Because Sega doesn't know how to keep a good thing going. Because they're fucking idiots. Oh, shit. What do you think would happen if Sega was still around now? As a console developer. Would they be competing with Nintendo directly, like on the Nintendo Switch market? Kind of the Japanese-style market? Or would they be competing, like, with Sony and uh, Microsoft with, like, big high-tech consoles that cost tons of money? Fuck! Uh, okay, I'm not gonna get to this boss. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Sega Japan doesn't know how to keep a good thing going. Yeah, didn't Sega of America think of the 32X? That was a real good thing. Kirby's Dreamland 2 cart still hasn't left that specific Game Boy officially. Are you dead serious? That's awesome. My sock hats? That's what my that's what I wear as a sock hat. Alright. Well, thanks for the recommendation of Fantasy Zone. That was a blast. Pickle friction. Was that worth your twenty thousand? Probably wasn't, I'm sorry. But it taught me, it taught me a lesson of love. There, pulled it out the other month and it was still there. That's super cool. All right, here we go. Let's jump back over to the PISP. I got an idea, guys. You ready for this one? Are you sure you're ready? Because this is going to be bizarre. Now this ties into a game that was just released a week ago. Are you ready for this? I hope you are. I really do hope you guys are. This is going to be wild. Wacky wild stuff. Okay, here we go. Here we go! Here we go! Um, I actually don't hate the 32X either. Um, I just don't see a real purpose for it. Strip Fighter 2? We're doing shoot 'em ups tonight. Shoot 'em ups, shoot 'em ups, shoot 'em ups. Straight up. And SNK Playmore made a shoot 'em up on the PSP. Not, not to be confused with. The game that it's very similar to. Isn't this fucking crazy? How many... Show of hands, who has played this game? Hearts would be good. I could do Steam Hearts. This is Neo Geo Heroes, the ultimate shooting. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy, right? <laughs> okay, good. This is a very bizarre shoot 'em up. It's uh, it mixes a little bit of King of Fighters in with uh, well, I shouldn't say just King of Fighters. It's everything, everything Neo Geo. It's with. <laughs> oh, dude, it's it's so funny. So this is a bullet hell shoot 'em up. Um, it actually has, in in terms of gameplay wise, it has more similarities to Castle Shikigami than anything else. I'll go with Terry Bogard because Terry's awesome. But there's Terry Kyo Sid. I think that's Kula, isn't it? Kula Shaker. Uh, Iori Akari Iroha. 
My Shiranui. Cool. That's Kula. Well, Kula looks a lot like this girl. Come on. That was... All right. Kula and then Athena. And then Marco. Marco, of course, is from Metal Slug. But I, I got to go with Terry. Terry's my guy. Terry's my guy. So long story short, this, uh, what's his name? Er, Neo Geo? No, wait. Dio? It's Geo Jesus. Geo Jesus. Wasn't the main boss from the very first World Heroes Neo Jesus? Interesting. That's what I said. And you want me to take care of him, right? Exactly. He's created an army of superhuman henchmen. And since you have the same power, you're the only one who can stop them. We have some other heroes helping too, but we have several different areas to care for. To Eras to care of? To take care of. Oh. And there's some other reasons. Okay, I'll do it. I was starting to get bored anyway. Traveling around the world and doing a bit of fighting? Awesome. Or is that traveling through time? You're taking this awfully lightly for someone nicknamed the Legendary Wolf and the Hero of Solf Town. I have to admit, I had a bit more of a robust image of you. Stop. Hey. <laughs> hey, stop mumbling and let's get going already. Doc, first, I think I'll go to the South Pole to wrestle some polar bears. Or maybe look for Yeti in Tibet. All right. I don't think I'm getting through to him. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Round one. Start. Now, there are actual, like, your bombs and stuff in this game are, like, um, really strange. Because they're, like, moves from the Fatal Fury or King of Fighters games. And it's so weird. And those, um, the bullets and the, uh, <laughs> the, the way that they hit the bad guys and stuff are so fucking loud. So if it's too loud again, let me know. But here's your classic bullet hell, where you're dodging through, like, oh my god, I can't believe I got hit. Where you're dodging through, like, tons and tons of bullets. Um, the game overall isn't terribly ugly. It looks pretty good. Um... The gameplay, though, is very bizarre. It's so silly. Like, this is totally a game that's like, why even make it? Ah, oh, shit. Great. One of those, I can't believe they made this type things. But, you know, everything in Japan has to be a shoot 'em up at some point. Super weird. Ugh. World Heroes, ADK and SNK were linked more than ADK making games for the their consoles, right? Um, I don't know, Alec, actually. I know ADK made a lot of games for um, SNK. Who the heck are you? Are you the backup the old man was talking about? I expected more. Hey, now, there's no need to start picking a fight. Let's be civil about this, shall we? I don't think so. I have no intention to share my reward with an amateur. I see. After all, we're only talking about one guy here. It has to be worth the while. Oh? That's a surprisingly sharp remark for a redneck like you. Hey, they don't call me a wolf for nothing. I have a nose to I have a nose for prey. That reminds me. Dogs test each other's strength to decide the leader, right? Dogs? Wait a minute. Are you making fun of me? No, man. I'm just saying we should see which of us is better suited to be beating the bad guys. Now you're talking. Let's do this. Winner takes all. Let's see who is the strongest. Ah, Shiza. You're really yelling a lot, girl. What is this, a novel? I know, right? It's super funny. But if you watched, or if you played Castle Shikigami 2 on the PS2, you know that all I wanted in that game, honestly, was just the dialogue to last forever. It's perfect. It's so funny. God, is that amazing game. I think Castle Shikigami 3 came out for the Wii for some reason. And it, like, had serious, really good make a shmup boring like an RPG. Oh, boy. Now we're... Now we're all... Oh, shit. More of these guys. 
Yeah, Kesha Shigami is so fun. That was the first time I'd played a, a real bullet hell and gotten into it. Like a whole lot. And, um... Ha ha ha! How is this possible? He just dodged my bullets. Sure, if you take your gun at me. Wait, if you turn your gun at me, all I have to do is dodge. Piece of cake. You wouldn't believe the kind of crazy stuff people throw at me all the time. You're insane, you know that? Man, I can't believe I lost. I still have lots to learn. In a nutshell, yep. Well, with that guy out of the way, I think I'll be going now. Sure, don't worry about me. You know what they say, two great rivals cannot exist. The winner is just going to have to take care of Geo Gigas, and that's all. Ow. Sorry, are you okay? I think I might have gotten a bit carried away there. Stop patronizing me. Just go already, and ow, ow, blast, I hate you. All right. Buddy. Yeah, well, that's hilarious. I thought this would be a good game. Did this come out in arcades or something? This is so bizarre. Why was this needed? Ugh. All right, so should I go for Athena or Ra Rugal? Rugal Bernstein. <laughs> I always called him God Rugal. So Rugal or Athena? Where am I going? It's just me. Because I think Athena's awesome. I'm gonna go Athena. Oh boy. You guys are interjecting a lot of uh, opinions. Boom. All right, Athena it is. Good. Thanks, Pickles. Thanks for agreeing with me. I don't think a little bit of dialogue between stages is boring, boring. It's not great, but I mean, fuck, you played through Mega Man 8. That's a goddamn cardinal sin that they fucked up Mega Man so bad with all that cutscene bullshit. The man? We must talk for 14 minutes between levels. This is fun, isn't it? Oh, sure. Or Mega Man X, 4, 3, or whatever, 5. God, those games, they screwed them up so bad. Capcom had like a formula, and it was like, we don't make any changes. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it, here. Oh, you skipped them? Well, I don't skip them because I want to read them because it's important. It's important. Don't you think it's important to read the dialogue? Especially to you, the beloved listeners. I'm just kidding. I know you like Mega Man 8. You like all your Mega Man, Mega Mans. Hopefully someday you play Shock Man. Cause that's a fun game. Oh shit! Woo wee! God. Ugh, the hitboxes are fairly nice to us. Thank goodness. Oh fuck. Okay, there we go. 14 hit combo. Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. This cannot be good. Hey, Athena, you look cheerful, as usual. You too, Terry. And you look like you're on a quest to defeat Geogegis. Yeah, I guess. Say, are you the kind of person to keep everything like you like for yourself? Huh? What? Well, now that you ask, I guess I, I'm the sharing type. If I got a present, I always tend to share it with the staff behind... Or staff instead of keeping it for myself. Oh, okay, okay. Seems I was worrying too much. For a moment, I was afraid you were going to say that only one of us should go on from here. Why, yes, I do think so. That's what I thought. Wait, what? What do you mean? Didn't you create this image of type of a girl who's always going to let's do this together? Create an image? Is that what you think I'm doing? I'm merely assessing the situation as a professional psycho soldier. Oh, I get it. Send out the elite. That way, if something happens, you'll be the only victim. Yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like something you'd do okay then. Let's... Something like you'd do. Okay then, let's decide who gets to go on. Yes, let's see who's the strongest. Ah, Christ. Create a fart? Next thing you know... Ah! Shit. I personally do not care for Mega Man 7 or 8. I think they are hard plays for me. Hard to stay interested. I think the level designs 
are fine, I guess. Mega Man 8 is actually pretty. It does look pretty, but I don't know. Wasn't super impressed with it. Back in the day, I have it on the Saturn. I should play it some more. Before I really judge, judge, judge Judy it. Judge Judy. Yeah, I almost took a hit there. Hit, hit there. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, shit. Good grief, that was tough. How how could I lose? Don't take it so hard. You're not that bad of a loser. Are you? But 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 we psycho soldiers have to protect mankind from harm. So you can't lose, is that it? I know about your sense of duty. It's just that have you never considered the options of trusting other people than letting them handle thing and letting them handle things? Trust? Sure, like me, for instance. Oh, Terry, I, I think you may be right. I didn't say... I won't say I'm not worried, but okay, I'll let you handle things. It looks like I'll only hold you back anyway. I trust you. All right, I'll make sure to wreak some havoc for you too. Wreak havoc? Anyhow, please don't disappoint me. I wish there was voice acting. Push start. You just want me to press start? Stop it. Stop it. Speaking of Shigami 1, not 2, was Mobile Light Force 2 in USA, and you gotta do Gunbird when you do Saturn, which was Mobile Light Force 1 here in the US, but PS1 version? Yeah, I remember Mobile Light Force 1 and 2, um, and then then it was Castle Shigami 2, right? Or was that Mobile Light Force 2? I don't think. Okay, uh, we need an Akari or Orochi, or, or, or Iori. What are we doing here? Kari or Iori? <clears throat> Which way should I go? Mobile White Force equals Gunbird. Mobile White Force 2 is Kessel Shigami Mobile. And Kessel Shigami 2 is Kessel Shigami 2. Alright, I'm going to go with Iori. Thanks for telling me where to go. Strider. There's a lot. Holy shit, I'm like inside his bowels. Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my lanta. Oh shit. Jesus. Ah, sugar. Continue. Continue? Why, yes, I will. If I can, Let's okay, go. good. Jesus. Man, these things are kicking my ass. Jesus. Ah. Holy fun. Okay, well, I had to do it. I'm a coward. Ah, fudge. Oh god, another boss, huh? These levels are really short. They're actually, like, shorter than the boss fights themselves. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, snap. Oops, sorry. Did I come at a bad time? This looks like trouble. I don't think I'm the one you're looking for, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere around here. In Gunbird 2 jives with current DC emu. Oh, yeah. Kyo. It doesn't look like you'll be letting me through either. Okay, I'll play with you for a while. This is all for your own good, man. Let's go. All right, dude. Oh, my God. Ah, shiza. I still continue? Fuck. Yeah, I'm cheating. I'm using some bombs. Holy shit. Alright, that's not so bad. Ah, fuck. Really? 
Hmm. Okay, what does that do? Oh, goody. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, now we're on the desperation. It's every ten, 10 seconds with this game. I know, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like, holy fuck. Damn, dude, I'm gonna... Dang. There we go. There we go. Man, that was way more trouble than I thought. Hmm? Hark. What's up? You got something to say now that you're back to normal, huh? Hmm. For a given definition of normal, those eyes of yours are freaking me out. And just don't let up. You just don't let up, do you? <laughs> I can't believe I had to be saved by you of all people. Don't expect any thanks. <laughs> so this one doesn't count. Is that it? Okay, I look forward to crossing fists with you for real again. <laughs> Out of here. You can do as you please. Sure, I already a big pansy. Hey, oh! Hubba, 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 I'm in the pink today. Nice. Kula or Kusanagi? Ah, uh, Kusanagi looks evil. 4B or 4C, my friends. Is it, is it, do you think it's getting harder as they go down? Or staying in A is the easiest? I actually don't know. I just don't know, man. I just don't know. Him, I'm going to see your buddy this weekend. At my game convention. Ha ha. You should come. You guys should come. The hell? How come you guys don't come and hang out at my game conventions? You only go to the big ones. Like MGC. Or, or uh, other big ones like PAX East or something. We're going to grab more water and maybe some more sippins. Mr. Majors is coming to central Wisconsin. On Thursday. Holy shit. That's really exciting. I'm actually pretty fucking stoked. Delicious. Man, you guys do not want me to pick a level, do you? I'm going to get some drinks. Hold on. C because I was born in April and there's a C in my name, but not. Oh. MGC was once in a blue moon thing for you. Well, Pickle, I hope you do come back again at some point, or we can find some way to meet up down by where you are at. If you're close to, I forget, your Oklahoma City-ish area, I'll do 4C for you, Alec. You're a good guy. You're a, you're a good friend. Our families have been very close, the Yawn and the, uh, the Turbo families. We've been very close for many years. If there's anything down by you, I'd make the trip. I was in Wichita last summer for a weekend. And guess who did not come and see me? Mr. Alec himself. We were supposed to go thrifting and go out for coffee. He said he was too cool to hang out. I said, are you serious? You're about an hour and 20 minutes south of OKC. Okay. All right, let's do Kusanagi. Let's go. 
Ups, 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 ups. Oh, wow. The levels are getting harder. That's such a weird concept. Oh, nuts. Never mind, he says. Oh, Rammstein. Right on me. Stop annoying me. Ah, fuck, 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 Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of repeating bad guys. Um, pretty unoriginal looking levels. They kind of look cool, but they're super generic. SNK mailed this one in for sure. Oh, that was a good move, actually. Good job. Good job. I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm a coward. If you jump to Wisconsin, pick up for sure. I'm expecting the carpool with you. Oh, yeah. He came to MGC, I want to say that was in 2019. And we hung out at his, in John's uh, apartment. Or I'm sorry, at John's hotel room that night and played a bunch of fucking awesome games all night. It was pretty fun. I, I only... I think I, I definitely know you better through your streams now, though, than I did then, though. Even when we hung out in real life then, I didn't know you very well. Yeah, that was so fun. That was... So there were a lot of issues with that year's jet, uh, MGC, though. There was a ton of issues with that year's MGC. Um, oops, I'm not reading. You're not as dumb as you look, Goldilocks. Of course, that doesn't mean you're any good as a fighter. So you ain't gonna tell me your name, huh? Why are you guarding this gate here, if I may ask? Tell me why you have to prevent me from taking care of Geo Gigas. Does it matter whether I'm doing this for good or evil? No one's getting through, period. I did not call you a weirdo. And if you don't like it, I'll pull your pretty hair out. Now go home and cry to your mama. Okay, that does it. No one says my mama's name. I'm going to show you who's boss. Sure you will, buddy. Fuck it. Lumiere. He says Lumiere. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Whoops. Woo. Fuck. Oh, well, there it is. All right. Thank God. Thank God I could continue and continue playing through this amazing SNK shoot 'em up. Oh. Yo, know, Geo fighting heroes. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's it. Let's do it again. There we go. Cheat some more. Use a bomb. I consider using a bomb as cheating. But it is kind of. I'm the king shit nerd. I mean, I kind of do consider myself the king of the kings as far as nerdy nerds go. That's why my wrestling name has the word king in it. Ah, fuck! Continue. There it is. Okay, I won. You won't mind if I go through now, right? See ya. Hey, now wait a damn second. Don't you, I, I don't know, want to know anything about GeoGeos? Not really. That wasn't the deal, right? No reason to make unfair claims. Unfair? You're trying to save the world here, aren't you? Who cares about fairness at a time like that? Hmm, maybe you're right, but I can't change who I am. Besides, I'm sure I'll find out without knowing. I'll, find, I'll be fine without knowing. You look too tired to answer my questions anyway. Don't come crying to me later. <laughs> All right, bro. It's really attractive. You call me weirdo and said wow I didn't say any of that stuff wow 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 okay, okay here we go okay here we go all right uh Sid three or Orochi Three. That's uh all right. Three. Sid. Sid Thrace. Oh wow, this actually looks like a regular old shoot 'em up level. 
Holy Christ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is actually pretty cool looking. This is actually pretty cool. This just makes me want to play Castle Shikigami. Like, because really that is a actual great bullet hell. Shoot him up. Um, but it's, uh, and with that fucking dialogue, and the American translation for it is so damn funny. It is honestly a spectacular, spectacular shoot em up. Not? Is that um actually? Well, if I was that big of a dick to you, why would you ever talk to me again? I can't imagine that being a thing I did, but if I was, I was just trying to be funny. What were your interests? Did you say Sega? Because I was probably like, oh, one of, you, one of you guys. Oh, one of you guys. You're going to be clamoring with your Nintendo. Sega does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, this is Neo Gigas. I'm impressed you made it all this way, but your journey ends here. I've absorbed all possible powers, making me the ultimate weapon. No one can stand in my way. Ugh. What's the matter? Did the small domestic animal get the movable organ in your mouth? What? Did the small domestic animal get the movable organ in Oh, fucking... Jesus Christ. Yeah, dear Terry, yeah. Still no response, huh? What's wrong with this guy? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I was just wondering. How can I have a good old-fashioned fight with you if you've turned into a machine without any limbs? Hmm? Any suggestions? Yeah. What do I care? Stop talking and fight already. Dude, this is the dude who was just monologuing. Okay, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk more action, huh? Simple and clean. I like it. All right, let's do it then. All right, come on, come on. Don't, but don't start whining. You don't have a leg. Don't start whining. You don't have a leg to stand on, okay? Christ. Now he's a ship. Holy fucking shit. Oh, awesome. This is the best game ever made. All right, cool. Thank God I got another continue. Holy fuck. Come on, come on. Girl speaking? Oh, what? What the fuck? Never mind! Oh, wow, those are like homing missiles. Ah, oh, Christ. That's great. There we go. Marissa Home. Oh, Jesus, what do I do about this? What the fuck? Oh, thank goodness. There we go. All right, that's probably the first boss down. Did you guys get a room? Jeez, jeez. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh my god, really? Ugh. I was doing well for a second there. I'm cheating. Oh my god, this is so crazy. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> I am the ultimate weapon. How could this be? I keep telling you, you have no limbs. You can't fight without any limbs, man. Hey, did I lose? Does this mean I don't possess the ultimate power? Heck, I don't know. I can't believe someone like you is behind all this fuss, though. I guess beating a combat plane gives me some nice bragging rights when I see Andy again. But I think I'll go around and fight some other heroes throughout history first. Damage exceeding tolerance level. Self-formation system critical. Sounds like this is the end. I'll just watch the show for a while before I call Brown. 
three, two, one. Hey, oh. Uh, uh, all right. Yep, I'm not getting any points for any of that because I continued again. Oh. Uh, are you okay, Terry? Even from a distance, that looked like quite a bang. Yeah, that was Neo Geo Jesus throwing a last hissy fit. But don't worry, it's all over now. Wow, I'm in the presence of a true hero. What a splendid job. Oh, stop it, Doc. You're making me blush. But it's true. Just look at what you've accomplished. You should hold your head up in pride. Oh, that reminds me. I have to reward you for your heroics. What do you want? A reward? I just wanted to fight strong people. I hadn't thought about any reward. Hmm. I know if you like fighting so much, how about we go and visit some heroes from the past? Heroes from the past, eh? I like the sound of that. But can we really do that? Not a problem. Even after fixing the rifts in time, the time machine still works perfectly. I actually know quite a number of heroes myself, you know? They're kind of a weird bunch, though. One of them's got a huge mask, and another's got huge limbs. Really? That sounds great. I'll take that reward. Sounds like I'll be having plenty of hot fights. Man, this is going to be awesome. Yahoo! Dude, they were talking about the world heroes. They were talking about the world heroes. A big mask and long limbs. Yep. We need a gaming night. Shoot him in the thermal exhaust port. <laughs> His name is Doc Brown. Talking the voice of Doc Brown. I should have. Oh, Marty, Marty. Heavens to gigawatts. That's not. That's like the wrong. A doctor who does time travel and his name is Doc Brown. How did this not get copyright infringement? I know, right? I don't think anybody cared, though. Neo Geo fighting heroes is an interesting one. But I'm counting this down as a conquered game of 2022. So it cheers to us, my friends. We beat another game tonight. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> game over. Oh, shit. I've never, I've never played this game more than like five minutes in the past just to see if it worked. And uh, we just played through it. That was pretty cool. Another game that every boy you know conquers is a game called Josh's Balls. Oh, damn it. Brock Doran? What the hell are you talking about, man? Brock Doran, how dare you? All right, so I have another PSP shooter, but it's it's like kind of a it's a stretch calling it a shoot 'em up, but but I'm pretty sure we could label it a shoot 'em up. So here we go. I got I got ideas. Here we go. I got ideas, and it's really funny because um. I was looking for it recently, and I thought, man, what is this game called? And uh, I, I liked a game on the PSP called Gravity Crush, but I hadn't played it in years. And I thought, well, it's, it's kind of one of those, like, uh, it reminds me a little bit. Pickle, you just talked about it today. That's my candle. It's on the table. Thanks, Jay. You constantly freaking me out about that. Tried to obfuscate Doc Brown in the worst way. Um, Pickle, you were talking about it just today or the other day. Fudge. It's like a little shoot 'em up. Yeah, play Marvel Land. It's a little shoot 'em up where you kind of guide this little thing around and you're moving around a screen and you have to like just hit enough exhaust to make it go. And then if you let it go, it kind of like starts to float back down again. There's a lot of games that are like it. Um, but this one's got a lot more uh, shoot 'em up action to it. So I figured we could play this. It's kind of like one of those uh, fantasy. Well, how about some more fantasy zone? Yeah, sure. Um, but this one, um, Gravity Crush, I was Googling and looking up Gravity Rush. And that only came out on the PSP Vita or the PS Vita, not the PSP. So it was one of those... Uh, Yes, I'm talking about Fester's Quest, where you're a little ship floating around in the space, and you're shooting bad guys. 
Shatazi Zone? Shatazi Zone? Shatazi Phone? Oh, I get it. Shantasy Phone? Yeah. Xantasy Phone? Shatazi on your phone. How about that? How do you like that? A game by Just Add Water. This is a pretty game. I actually thought it was pretty cool. This game is compatible with the autosave feature. Do not power off the system whilst the process is taking place. <laughs> Do not power down the system. Gravity crash. Let's just do campaign. If I can't figure it out, I'm a dumbass. Teacher dumbass. Start a new game. <clears throat> Somewhere in the far reaches of colonial space, a lone janitor droid lazily sweeps the floor in Sector 7B of a mining station. No one had been down there for a while. In fact, he didn't recall seeing anybody in the two weeks since that annoying siren started and that red light started flashing. Suddenly, mid-slacking, he finds himself dragged off and dumped at the controls of a small spaceship. And our adventure begins. Thanks, J-Bear. Have a good night. And Alec will have to do another pantsless game night. Janitor Droid 13. Janitor Droid 13, we've made a mess of galactic proportions. It's your mission to go and clean it up. Yay, freedom. See you later, suckers. I'm out of here. Don't you remember? We rigged you with a remote detonator. It's the only way we could get you to do any work at all. Before you go anywhere, I need to make sure you can fly the ship. Hey, would have ever let you down. Never, but you... You have to actually do something first for that to happen. Alright, so I remember enjoying dual controls. So you use the analog stick in the direction you want to move and use the action buttons to fire in various directions. Yeah, I think I like that best. Uh, we'll do automatic shields. And uh, he fires a powerful homing plasma ball. Fires a spread of weak homing drones, activates a powerful EMP effect, temporarily disabling machines within the local area. Powerful lightning bolt, which spreads its power amongst the enemies within reach. Ooh. Uh, let's just go with green here. Push the analog stick in the direction you wish to move, and your craft will turn and then thrust in that direction. Notice how gravity affects your craft. Let's just exit the training. Let's just start. Let's just start this fucking game. Let's start this game. Okay, we have some missions for you in the Basic system. Cool, they'll have loads of stuff to steal. What? I said those guys got a rough deal. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's spectacular. Okay, so... Alright, this is the game. Um, there's a million games like it. It like uses those Vectrix-style graphics. Um, that I think are really fun. There you go. Oh, it's like... I don't know, I never really categorized a game type like this as a shoot 'em up, but really, what else would you call it? You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, there's a little bad guy there. Okay. Collect four. I've got zero so far. Is that one of the things I should collect? I'm guessing so. Um, asteroids is a shoot 'em up, I'd assume, right? But I honestly don't know. Oh, okay. Definitely call like Space Invaders and Galaga shoot 'em ups because what else are you doing? You're shooting. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Solar Jetman or something. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. Oh, that node's been activated. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's what I need to do. Collect that stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, shit, see, I took some damage there. I kind, I like these kind of games. So do I. Um, there's, there's a couple of good ones on the Genesis, right? Um, I remember liking one a lot on the Genesis. I just can't remember what it's called. Isn't it called like Rescue? I have Rescue. I actually really dig that game. Oh, shit. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, that's great. Good job, Petroleum. Extra spite. Oh god. Oh Jesus, stop hitting the wall. 
Um, Subterrain, Subterranea. Yep, that's a good one. That's a really cheap one, too. I always see it. Well, I shouldn't say always, but I used to see it all the time at places, and it's like, oh, I already got that one. Yep, and this is actually a really relaxing game on the PSP. I think this is a fun one just to play. Um, but there was a lot of, like, games that were kind of like that on the PSP. Um, that are, like, those kind of just neat little games that you just kind of waste time playing, you know? I always thought were pretty fun. Okay, that's a lot of fucking things down there. That's a lot of fucking bad words. This is a fun game. I like this one a lot. What, what's, what's going on? Oh. It's a timer thing. The target time was three, 30 seconds, and I did almost three minutes. What? Oh, new planets unlocked. That's kind of cool. Data saving in progress. Yeah, I could start shutting down my PSP. Zeta. Right, let's do it. Oh, fuck. Destroy five. Meteor storms have been reported on this planet. Take care as you seek out and destroy the enemy's fuel stockpiles. All right. We can do this. And the way you play is you just use your analog stick, uh, move around pretty easy, and then the four face buttons of the... Oops. Meteor shower detected. Uh-oh, that's not good. Um... Once you, ooh, fuck. Okay, there's one. Cool, that's good. Nope, there's two. Oh shit, I see a meteor shower. That's not cool. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh god, yeah. It's the fucking building. Ah, it's the ground that's, oh shit, okay. Yeah, we already knew that though. Is that really? God damn it. Oh shit, yep. Oh! Stamp, come on, man. What is this thing? Okay, cool. Oh god. Dude, this is floaty, beyond floaty. Come on. Shit. I'm gonna die from like just touching the walls, not even from bad guys. Come on, man. How stupid. How stupid this game is. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, yeah, Luminez. Yes, 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 yes. I like Luminez quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, PSP was loaded with great games. Um, I'm excited to do streams of PSP stuff because this, I think this looks really cool. And from what I recorded um, just on my, oh, there we go, cool. Just on the recordings that I did with OBS, it looked really good. Um, so I can do recordings of PSP games. I got all the East games on PSP. Um, I'm actually pretty stoked about that. So, oh, so, so they really want you to fly through these stages pretty quick. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. Vectora. But this is definitely a, a more chill shooting type game. Oh, God. I honestly don't even remember what I was supposed to do in this mission. Oh my god. Yeah, that's great. Well, those are straight up just asteroids. Ooh, there's actually a thing that's going to shoot at me here. Oh, there's some guys there. Do I have to pick up people? Oh, Jesus. Nope. How many do I have to rescue? Rescue. A uh, reso gun? I actually don't know if I have, dude. I I don't know. What do I gotta collect? I know I played rescue on the master or the dream cat. Oh Jesus. Ah, oh, shit. On the Genesis. I mean, I like that quite a bit. But I've never played Resso Gun. But what is going on? Is this my health that's doing this, or what? Fuck. Fuck! 
Oh, really? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on yourfollows.com. Thank you, Maestra Thigus. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. Super cool. Thanks, dude, for the, for the message. You can buy it. Just tell me more. I don't understand the point of buying followers. Like, I don't plan on ever making money off of this. So, like, why would you spend money to make money? That doesn't make any sense. I'm happy just playing games for the sake of playing games. I don't care if there's zero viewers or 100 viewers. I just like my friends hanging out and bullshitting with me while I play games. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. That's all I want. I think my favorite thing in the world is to have people over and play games. And if I can't do that all the time, then what I want to do is play games on the stream. It's the second best thing. Cool. So these guys, this is not considered my goal, which kind of sucks. That was my goal, actually. But I'll rescue some crewmen if I don't die. Node activated? Okay. So which nodes do I even collect? The red ones? Okay. Where are... Oh. another one. Oh shit. Whoops. Oh god. Okay. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh god. Okay. Okay. What is the timer thing going off? What is that doing that for? Okay. What is the timer thing going crazy for? Where is another one? Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I remember this. Okay. So where the fuck is the other thing? Do not go into that ground. Oh, this is going to be tough. Shit. Okay, that's an artifact. That wasn't... That didn't even count, did it? Fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. That's, that's that. Then what was the... She can suck my bong. And suck my bong. Oh, is that it? That's funny. No! <gasps> okay, thank God. Holy shit. Jesus. Do I still get the crewmates, though? I bet I don't. That sucks. Uh, have you familiar with Elite Beat Hazard? Um, so there was an Elite Beat Agents game, wasn't there? I don't know Elite Beat Hazard though. <laughs> cool. I don't know Elite Beat Hazard. That's that's uh, one I'm unfamiliar with. Pickle Friction. Yeah, I know Elite Beat Agents. Those are fun. Speaking of that, I can. Well, speaking of handheld consoles. Oh my god, I just said it. Don't fucking tell John I said that. Speaking of handhelds, do not tell John I said that. Um, I have PSP stuff on my uh, RetroArch, so I'll be able to play some of those too on streams coming in the future. Um, one of those is that like retro game challenge, retro gamer challenge. I do want to stream that really bad. I think that'll be super fun. Defendia. We should um, play this for a little bit more. And then, um, try that Namco Museum that's on the PSP and see if there's any shoot -em ups in there. So that'd be kind of cool. When I played, did I say Game Boy, I meant DS, yeah. I did mean that, Alec. I did. Thank you for being my guardian angel. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for always being there for me. When I figured how to speak, you were always there to piece, this, piece things together for me. When I forget where my pants are, there is Alec. He says, look, I found your pants. Yes, Retro Gamer GX. Yes. Yep. I am planning on playing that on the DS. On a stream. Because that would be fun. Yeah, the DS emulation on this, um, on RetroArch is really good. 
It's really good. Okay, so here's some guys I can pick up. Uh, let's pick some guys up. Come here, friend. Check out this clip. Streaming Space Invaders Extreme. Oh, God. Oh, goody. Do, 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 do. Fuck! What the smack? Wait, what? What did you clip? What did you clip? What the clip? I don't know what those things are. Ugh. Huskvarna. Huskvarna. What did you clip? What did you? What did you clip? Yeah, right, right, right. What did you clip? Pickle friction. Mm. Elite Beat Hazard is a uh, indie shoot 'em up that plays and reacts to your custom music you put in your. Oh, 360 hard drive. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So it's a little bit like um, Monster Rancher. <laughs> Seeing hand. Oh, fuck, great. That's awesome. That's just that's just fucking awesome. Thank you. You basically ruined my entire life. I'm not even exaggerating. You've ruined everything. Oh, this is a fun stream. I guess I'm going to quit forever now. Now that I know that I have conceded to that bastard. Um, that sounds really cool. Um, yikes. That's okay. I've already conceded the whole concept and the argument anyway. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out. Elite Beat Hazard on the 360. That sounds really fun. I don't know where to go to destroy more of these things. There's got to be somewhere. It's a very pretty game, though, right? Oh, shit. Bad guys. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Timer's running out or something. What is this thing? Oh, my God. Blast. Oh, god damn it, dude, that momentum really fucks with you. My jet, my my jets are like weak and pathetic. I can't slow down. Oh, what's this? What the fuck? Is that it? Oh, that was supposed to happen there. Okay, that's cool. Cool. That's cool. I don't mind. That's cool. What's this thing? Wow, I haven't seen anything to destroy in a while. Meaning, like, those things I'm supposed to be destroying for the... to continue through the stage? It's really weird. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Come on. Where the fuck are these things? You and me, baby, ain't nothing but camels, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Key channel. Do, 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 what the fuck? Wow, oh, that's pretty crazy. Damn it. God damn it, dude. Wow, there's a lot of those things. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ray, Ray, Ray. Do, 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 Oh, there's like a whole underwater world over here. This is gonna be fun. Ooh, a very scary stage. Oh, what? What? 
That's what I was supposed to destroy? I thought it was these things. <laughs> the Discovery Canal. The anal canal. Alright, let's see what is in the Namco Museum. Let's see what is in the Namco. A man, a plan, a canal, a Panama Canal. Alright, let's see what's in the... Namco Museum here. See what's in the Namco Museum. Nemco Museum. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Do -do. Here we go, guys. Let's rock and roll. All right. What are we doing here? Spike. Good disclaimer. Ooh. Thank you for cooperating. What the fuck? Not what I picked. This is genuinely not what I picked. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, yeah, it is. A man, a plan, a canal. All right. Sorry about that. That's not... That's really weird. That's I picked Namco Museum. I'm super confused. Okay. Weird. I don't understand why it... Decided to, uh... Go to... Whatever it was I was picking. All right, let's see if there's any good shoot 'em ups in here. Oh, brother! Pac-Man arrangement. Galaga is in here. That's always fun. All right, let's let's start with a let's let's do Galaga arrangement since we'll do a tribute to our good friend Pickle Friction who kicked fucking ass at Galaga ninety today. Hey, it could have been something bannable. <laughs> yeah, right. There aren't any bannable games on the PSP, are there? Look at this. All right, let's do a uh, new game in Galaga. Let's see how this goes. I already don't like it as much. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I do recall playing this. It is a super high def version of Galaga Night. I don't think I'll do as well as you did, though, Pickle, so don't even worry about your high score, my friend. I am not the gamer you are. Oh, Lanta. That was fun. This is literally like the PSP version of Galaga 90, isn't it? Pretty much. Bro, how are you, buddy? Very space, so colors, much pew pews. Wow. That is true, my friend. We're doing Shm Appreciation Month. All month long, shoot 'em ups every day of the month. Between myself, Mojo Menace, Dale, and our good friend Pickle Friction. Shooter Rooney is Shooter McGavern all month long. I'm gonna be streaming this. So, oh, I gotta get into that, right? That's the... I watched you do this today, and I'm, I never have done this before, so I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Alright, so then I collect it? Is that... That's exciting. Shit. This is different. 
Oh, man. Um, so, <laughs> I will be doing... Out of 58, that's cool. I will be doing a stream potentially Thursday night, depending on a few things. Depends on how tired I am. Convention starts on Friday morning. Um, so, I don't think we open until like 10 or 11 at, in the morning, though. So, like, actually, it could be a bit of a chill morning. Um, I'm potentially thinking about maybe still streaming Thursday night from right here um, to play any random shoot 'em ups. But we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, but, in an effort to make up for the missing day, potentially. I'm going to be streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from the Game Convention Center. Hey, Tropism, how's it going, buddy? Happy Tuesday night. We're playing some Galaga Arranged Mode on the PSP. We've been playing PSP shoot 'em ups all night, um, except for the one. Uh... Holy shit! Holy monkey tits! Jesus, Kalima Samus Simus. Holy Samus Aran. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh my god. This is the one big fly. She's pretty fly for a white guy. This isn't my Galaga. I know, right? <laughs> Get off my lawn. Challenging stage. Oh my god. What's this all about? Very cool. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Really? There we go. Ah, oh, really? These are like those sporadic bugs. I remember you playing something similar to this. Like aphids. Ah, oh, Christ. Alright, there we go. Got, ah, most of them. No. That wasn't terrible. How's it going, trope? Tropism. Oh. What? Can't see the dialogue in that, whatever that box was saying. This isn't your grandfather's Galaga. We are just hanging out and saw you were streaming, so I figured I'd jump in. Hey, what's up, man? Thank you. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, we're, uh, we're pushing the Shm Appreciation Month all March long. Pickle streamed today, and so did Mojo Menace. Johnny Boy! And then I'm uh, wrapping up the night streaming some PSP shoot 'em ups. That's always fun. Always been a big fan of the PSP, and it fucking looks great on this computer, so I'm pretty stoked. We picked out uh, using some of his redemption points. He used uh, one for me to shoot a promo on him of Macho Man Randy Savage. That was fun. Lost a little bit of my voice. And then, uh... Oh, man, come on. And then, uh, he also redeemed uh, changing the game, and he made me play some Fantasy Zone. You want me to play Marvel Land? I'm trying to keep it shoot 'em up themed this month, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll... I owe him a Marvel Land at some point. I bet I could whip up something like this in a couple of days for fun. <laughs> I bet you could, dude. I bet you could. You should do a new uh, new Galaga. Do a Galaga 2021 or 22 or something. Galaga 20. That'd be fun. Yeah, I owe you, I owe you a Marvel Land. I'll, I'll make sure to pop that out for you at some point. At the end of some night. Some night. But I played Fantasy Zone tonight, and I'm not good at Fantasy Zone. Matter of fact, today was probably the farthest I've ever gotten in Fantasy Zone, so... Oh shit, I remember these from earlier. Just in a different, uh, in a different light. Oh, really? 
Willy Jaeger. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, man. I got it. Oh, well. All right, that's cool. Oh, Scheiße. Scheiße, Manella. Not for the heavy arms, but man, I'm getting pooped. I'm getting pooped. Ah, uh, no. What the hell? A Galaga queued him up? Yeah, kind of, right? This is the Galaga arranged mode on the PSP version of uh, Namco Museum. So they have these arranged, special arranged modes. A modernized centipede? Ooh, that's a great question. I honestly don't know. Um, there was... The, I don't know about centipede. I have no idea. I'm sure there's got to be a centipede with arranged mode or some updated graphics, but... Um, one interesting, uh, game that I liked a lot, I was actually on the GameCube. Oh, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit, come off it. What the fuck was that about? Can I do anything here? Jesus, really? Holy fuck, I'm in trouble. But what am I supposed to do against this big-ass boss? Okay. Seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Ah, Jesus Christ. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Come off it. Oh my god, now everything's... Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I'll continue. It's great. Yes. Yeah, fuck. Okay. <sighs> Jesus, really? Cheese and rice. God, thank you. Finally did some damage to it. Jesus Christ. Really? Come on, man. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Now he shoots. That's even more fun. God damn it, dude. Really? Oh, thanks, Rove. Thank you. Thank you, Rove. <laughs> God damn it, this is bullshit. This is bullshit, I did not hit her, I did not. I didn't lie, she's lying, I didn't hit her. Bitch, is lying. Fuck, man, Jesus Christ. Fuck you. Dude, come off it. Come on, Ant Man. Finally, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. You used goods, bitch, fuck you. Okay, let's get over here now. Okay, that's cool. Super fun. There we go. Nice. Alright, cool. Oh, man. Oh, God. Jesus, Jaeger. Hooey! <sighs> you ain't scaring me. There we go. Fuck, I only continued like seven times on it. Jeez. Sheesh, sheesh. Um, I don't know about the modernized centipede, Alec, but I would say that one um, game I really enjoyed that was a spin-off of Space Invaders for the GameCube, GameCube, was called Space Raiders. And Space Raiders was the same exact concept of uh, Space Invaders, except for you were, it was more of a running gun, but it was still the same type of game. It was really bizarre. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. It was done by Taito, too, and it was it was cool. It was a good good GameCube game. Um, check it out if you're ever looking for GameCube games. I'm pretty sure it's an expensive game now because not many people played it. It was called Space Raiders, and the whole idea of the game is that you were, like, it was uh, it's kind of a top-down view of Space Invaders style, except for you're a dude on foot. And you're running around on the bottom, and there's, like, some bunkers and shit you can hide behind and stuff. But, like, really, you're just shooting at aliens coming at you. And the idea is that the aliens have landed, and now it's up to the people on foot to defend Earth and blah, blah, blah. And I really dug it. I thought it was really fun. I played it. I bought it. 
Because I, I saw it and I was like, this is awesome. A fucking GameCube, like, updated graphics version of Space Invaders? I want to see what this is about. Is it the budget title? I think it was 29 bucks or something. And I picked it up and I loved it. I shouldn't say loved it, but I liked it a lot. It was really cool. I'd like to play that again. That'd be fun. I haven't played it probably in, fuck, 15, 15 years or more, maybe? I don't know. There's some really good shoot 'em ups on the GameCube. Um, what did they add? Ikaruga. And a few other ones that were really good. Chaos Field was a good one. That was a pretty good one. But, uh, yeah, I, I played... It's actually not expensive, really! What's not expensive, though? Like, 30 bucks? Because I'd, I'd pick up Space Raiders again if it was cheap enough. That's a fun one for, like, game conventions and stuff, I think. I'd be, I'd be down for trying that one again. That'd be fun. Ooh. Oh, 30. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. There was a couple of really weird, obscure, like, GameCube games that I really enjoyed, but they weren't, like, great. It was just during a time when, like, I was wanting new things to play on GameCube, and I was like, I don't know, new releases were coming far and few and, holy fuck, few and far between while PS2 was getting tons of new games and Xbox was too, you know? So I was like, oh man, I'm a GameCube owner, what do I want to buy? That's not Nintendo and Zelda, like, I don't want all Nintendo and Zelda all the time, you know? And uh, that's not my favorite thing about Nintendo consoles, at least it wasn't. Um, you know, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, there's so many great games. The N64 is basically just your, nin your Mario's and Zelda's, and then the GameCube was kind of a, be a step in the better direction over the GameCube, or the N64 for sure. But, uh, I liked a lot of the third-party games on the GameCube, and one of those would be Space Raiders. That's a fun one. Um, Lost Odyssey was another really good one. Was it called Lost Odyssey? We're thinking of Lost Kingdoms. Lost Kingdoms. Oh, shit, that came right at me. I thought I was going to turn away at the last second. Lost Kingdoms was pretty good. There was just one and two of that. They were both pretty good games. Um, deep RPG games. Uh, you can do Wii GameCube games on stream for the month via methods. Would you, have you played Il Velo? Oh, I don't know that one. Um, I have a Wii and a GameCube. I know there's hacked GameCubes out there with like the WiiWare and the Wii uh, emulation chain or the, whatever it's called. There's a lot of good stuff out there on Wii, for sure. Um, and I'll, I'll get to it eventually. I have a hacked Wii and then a regular Wii. Um, so I'll be able to play some Wii stuff. I think at some point I really do want to stream some Wii. Especially like Castlevania Adventure Rebirth, which is fucking amazing. And then some other games. I got Contra Rebirth too. It's really good. Um, classic con Contra game on the Wii. Yeah, the homebrew channel. That's it. Yep, yep. That's a, it's a cool concept. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get running, but it's it's really cool once you get it going. I remember thinking when when I hacked my Xbox um, through a, through like that I think it was Mech Assault exploit or whatever it was. God, that's a long time ago. That is like 16 years ago. I hacked oh shit my Xbox. A video from years ago. What? That that counted as a death? What? That sucked. I thought that was going to give me the extra ship or whatever. Pickle friction, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, but I was going to say, the uh, the Xbox, the original Xbox, was was hard-ish to, to hack, at least for me, with limited skills. Um, but it was really fun once I got it hacked. And playing all the emulators and stuff on it was just freaking amazing. Oh shit, no, no. And, um... When the Wii came out and everybody was talking about like hacking the Wii and they're like, oh my god, you can play like tons of emulators on it and stuff. I was like, oh, that's really cool. But once it came time for actually like hacking it and playing on it and stuff, I'm like, this isn't as good as the original Xbox. Like the original Xbox for streaming, sorry, not for streaming, but for for hacking was way more intuitive. I don't know, I thought. With MAME on there and like um, PlayStation emulation, N64 emulation and fuck, there was just a ton of stuff on it. It was great. And you could expand the hard drive by putting a real hard drive inside and stuff, and oh man, I loved it. Naomi. Oh, I... I don't know. 
damn it. Oh, I have it on my Wii, but I did it years ago, and the letter bomb was the best way to do it. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know anything about it, my friend. Yeah, tomorrow morning, I'm getting up. I'm gonna pack up a big, big ass trailer full of TVs and game consoles and bring it to the game convention. So that'll be fun. That'll be my entire. Damn it. Fuck off. Oh, that did work this time. Oh, I bet the reason why it killed me last time was because... Oh, now I've got rapid fire. Oh, this is way better. Oh, thank God. This is amazing. Gundemonium? I don't know what Gundemonium is. What is Gundemonium, Pickle? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, there we go. It's a shoot 'em up named Gundamonium. I don't even know what it is. What was it on? Was it on the Genesis? That sounds that sounds too clever to have been on the Genesis. Really cool shoot 'em up. Oh, that's kinda cool. Well I'd try it out. Oh shit, flies. These look like floms, a couple of floms. Of course a flying mom is a flom. We all know that a flom is just a flying mom. Holy shit. Flying mom. The sitcom from the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. I think it had an arcade release. Oh, that's cool. Letter Bomb was an effective hack that allowed you to install the homebrew channel on your Wii by exploiting a message glitch or something like that. Oh, really? Oh, wasn't that the message, like, you send messages to people? And then if you opened a message, that was the letter bomb? I think I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. That's that's actually a lot easier than the, uh... All right. I actually think that's the the best way to hack a Switch. Or a Wii, I mean. The uh, Xbox one was a little different, though. That was the, the game exploit. And didn't, uh... Didn't Breath of the Wild... Or not Breath of the Wild for the Wii, but, uh... Twilight Princess HD have a... I think it did. Twilight Princess on the Switch, or the original Wii had a, the exploit in it, too, didn't it? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> hmm. Level 4, here we go. This is really fun on this collection. It's not as good as the Turbo version, but it's pretty neat. I'm better at this than I am the Turbo version, for sure. Is far more forgiving. I'm not an Amco or a Galaga. Good. I'm not good at. Not good at get 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 good at Galaga. Get good, bro. Whoa! 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 Yeah! 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 Damn it! Is this gonna kill me? Nope. Okay. Let's see what this does. Same thing. Well, that's fun. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Jesus. Oh wow! I thought I died. <laughs> Man. I thought for sure I died there. <laughs> this is basically all the excellence of a Galaga into a modern day release ish ish moder modern day ish. <laughs> PSP was such a good console. It really was. It was really such a fucking good console. I have to get off, man. Work-related stuff I gotta deal with. Alright, dude. Well, be good. I am, uh... I'm probably gonna head off pretty soon, too. Once I get my next game over, I think. Because I'm pretty fucking beat. 
Which is okay, because then I can get a full night's sleep and have a good Good night, Pickle. We'll talk to you later, buddy. I forget which console it was, but there was a Mary Kate and Ashley. What? Oh shit! No! 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 Oh no! Come back! Fucking idiot! Oh my god! <sighs> I forget which console it was, but there was a Mary Kate and Ashley game that had an exploitable glitch in it, and suddenly it was the hottest game on eBay, despite being a literal hot garbage, hot hot garbage game. Have a good and pickle friction, see ya pickles. Uh, when I allegedly did that to my Wii, I had to install a particular firmware, then install the homebrew, homebrew channel allegedly. Oh man, I, I think I'm gonna not continue, because I'm fucking beat. It is 11.30ish. Um, let's see what other games are on this Namco Museum though. Also, this is, by the way, this is a new microphone. We are on day one of Shm Appreciation Month. Look at all those dads. That AAA one is me too, I think. Cool, man. Well, I did something cool. Let's uh, return to the main menu here. Let's see what else is on this. So there's original games here. Pac-Man, game sharing. Rolling Thunder, that's fucking cool. Modos, nice. Uh, Grobda, I don't know what that is. Dragon Buster. Oh, that's sweet. Tower of Draga. Fucking classic. Mappy. Xevious. Dig Dug 2. Dig Dug 1. Bosconian. That's a shoot em up. Rally X. Classic. New Rally X. A new. Or the original version of Rally X. What? Oh, new Rally X. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. An original Galaga. Yep. King in Balloon. Galaxian. There's some classic Galaxian and Miss Pac-Man Pac-Man again. Okay. Let me, let me try a minute of Galaxian. We'll wrap it up here. And then I'll head off to bed. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. It was super cool uh, to be able to shoot the shit with you guys tonight. Let's do some Galaxian. Oh, man. Yeah, how did they... Oh, fuck. Wow. Hey, you get destroyed in this one. Wow, wow. -wee. Damn, this is tough. Yeah, this is so similar to <laughs> Space Invaders. It's crazy. It even seems like it has the same sound effects. Jesus. I love those starry backgrounds, though. That's so pretty. I'm just not great at this. Shit. Let's see. Who are they going to send down next? This fucking nerd. Okay, there we go. Ah! Yikes. Okay. Hey, there we go. Boom. We beat a stage. Look at us. Oh, I'm so happy we beat a stage. Oh, fuck. Now I'm screwed. Oof. This is how it all started, G Galaga folks. Yeah, dude. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yikes, damn it. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright, folks, it's 11.30 at night. We're gonna head off now. Congratulations, you made a high score. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I did, I did, I guess. But I'm too flippin' and exhausted. We are Galaxians. Mission, destroy the aliens. Alright, cool. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, let's go raid somebody. I think you want to want to hang out and raid tonight. You can always do that. That's always fun. Let's go look. Somebody to raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Neon Arcade. Dude, that's where we should go. Let's go to Neon Arcade. That is, he is one of the... <laughs> 
Oh, Neon Arcade. Dude, that's where we should go. Let's go <laughs> I can hear Neon myself. Arcade. That's that ridiculous. Absolutely. All right, let's go to Neon Arcade. All right. Uh, Oh, shit. Nope. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Raid somebody. The neon arcade. Do 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 There we go. Let's go raid Neon. See what he's up to. Come along with me, friends. Let's go, three of you. Let's go, all three of us. Let's go and view. Oh, four of us. Five of us. Ooh, this is getting exciting. Never done so many of a raid. Let's do it. Boom. All right, thanks, guys.